Hello, welcome to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. You guys, I'm going to do a Mercury retrograde reading just to give you an idea of these energies. Now, Mercury went retrograde um, October 31st, Halloween, and it will stay retrograde all the way through November 20th. Now, for those who don't understand what retrograde means, that means that the planet appears to be moving backwards. But when that happens, it affects us. Um, so with Mercury, and th this actually started happening yesterday with me, my computer just shut off several times by itself. Didn't know what was wrong with it. My computer started, uh, excuse me, my cell phone, I was trying to type a text message, it just started typing. I have heard so many people say that they've had issues with the TVs, the cell phones, I, I lost my glasses, misplacing things. These are some of the occurrences that will happen with Mercury retrograde. It does affect our communication. Communication meaning anything, how we speak, you know, how we, um, you know, uh, relate to one another as far as passing information. And so it will tamper with that as you can see this is not a time to uh, begin any contracts either this is not the time if you've already started them prior to the retrograde that's okay but it's really not um, suggested that you begin anything during this time period um, this is a very powerful Mer Mercury retrograde and also remember that we're just coming off the the energies of the new moon in Scorpio okay so we're still kind of feeling the effects of that Scorpio is a very emotional sign um, Scorpio is in terror is the death. So that means big changes can happen in your life, whether you want them to or not. Universe is going to push out anything that does not serve your highest good during this time. Okay. All right, you guys, if this is your first time joining with us, thank you so much. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell. Every time the, um, I release a reading, you'll be notified. Remember to follow us on Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Also, remember that these energies and the reading I'm about to do will flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it will relate to your partner, okay? All right, you guys, I do have your other readings coming out for November. And I know I'm a little behind with your October to November love forecast. I will be doing that soon. And also, the full moon will be in Taurus. Um, on November 12th. So we'll be um, rolling that one out as well. Okay. But in the meantime, let's try to get an idea what these energies are like for the Mercury retrograde from now until November 20th. All right. On to your reading. Hello, my Scorpios. Okay. Let's get right into the reading. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? Just saw your card too. Just saw the death card. As it relates to the Mercury retrograde for October 31st through November 20th. Put messages to the fourth for the sign of Scorpio. Do our Scorpios need to know as it relates to the Mercury retrograde? Oh, we have one to step over here. Okay, two more, please, for the sign of Scorpio. Okay. We have more than two. I really was trying to only do three. Ah, that card has come up so much today. My goodness, people are really making some choices during this energy. They are really, really making some choices right now. My, my, my. Okay, my Scorpios, you have the three of pentacles in reverse. The five of swords in reverse. The star. The hangman in reverse. The moon in reverse, and the card that's been popping up almost every reading is the two of wands in reverse. This is making a choice. This is also waiting for results. You could be waiting for you know something to come in, somebody to make a decision about something. You could be trying to make a decision about something right now, but <clears throat> you could just be waiting around. Could also mean travel too. So some people could be traveling. This is thanks, the month of Thanksgiving. So that definitely could be uh, why this car is coming up a lot today. But there is a lack of teamwork here. This is a group conflict that's not happening. Um, it's just not happening in, in your life right now because uh, it's not happening positively, positively in your life right now because there's group conflict, lack of teamwork, people not working together. And could because... The, could be because there's lingering resentment or this also could represent that you know somebody's wanting to reconcile somebody's wanting to forgive but the group is not having it. the group keeps stirring it up okay and this is 
someone wanting to just start new, just that, you know, just have an inner clarity, could have inner clarity about what this situation is here now. And that's why they have the desire to forgive, to reconcile because they understand, but the group is causing some problems. To represent against stalling, you know, as we said in the beginning with this two of wands, you know, waiting for results. And I just look behind here with the six of swords, somebody's moving away. Somebody is really, they're just trying to get away from this whole mess here, whatever's happening here, because there's confusion, there's misunderstanding, there's fear, okay? There's fear. So with this situation here, uh, we definitely need to get clarity. And this is what the stars, the stars illuminating what, what clarity is, and the moon is letting you know that, um, you know, this is a misunderstanding. This is just confusion taking place. These are major arcanas here. And uh, we've been stalling, but we know the truth because we want to forgive. We want to reconcile. But the group, I feel like the group is causing a mess. Could be a family mess that's happening right here. Okay, and somebody's just having to make a choice and go away. And it could be about love. Okay, could be about love. Could be about somebody from your past. Okay, um... But it could be somebody's with somebody that they don't want to be. But regardless, that cup of love is coming regardless. And it could be this person is moving towards that love. Okay? Moving towards that person or moving away with that person. But there's something going on here with uh, that Scorpio. So make sure you use this energy for you and not, not against you. And this five of swords in reverse, this is somebody wanting to forgive. Wanting to forgive. Wanting to reconcile. Maybe this could be at your job, could be dealing with the family, could some type of group conflict, okay? But somebody's wanting to forgive, but they're stalling right now. They're just sitting back, just watching and waiting. Holy Spirit, divine creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to the Mercury retrograde for October 31st through November 20th? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Scorpio? When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So Spirit is reminding you that, forgive this, because when you leave here, you take none of this with you. So focus on what you have here and love people. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So just be true to your heart. To just be true to who you are and let your star shine, okay? And all of this will work itself up. But you just shine and make the decision of what you need to do, okay? All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.